In this video, we'll differentiate the terms assault and battery. In some states, they'll use the phrase assault and battery, and that can be confusing for us in Texas because we don't use battery in our statutes. Texas codifies the assault under Section 22.01 of the Texas Penal Code, and in that statute, there are three separate definitions that would satisfy that offense. So we go back to common law. At common law, battery was the intentional striking or hitting of another person, and at common law, an assault would be an attempt to cause a battery. So sometimes we'll look at the assault as a threat and the battery as the physical harming of another person. So in Texas, we've just kind of uh, consolidated that idea into one assault statute. So 22.01A1 is intentionally or knowingly or recklessly causing bodily injury to another, including the person's spouse. And 22.01A2 intentionally or knowingly threatens another person with imminent bodily injury, and again, including the person's spouse. Uh, so just to distinguish between the two terms, assault and battery, if you hear those uh, phrases used in a, in a separate state, um, I think Illinois still uses assault and battery as a distinction, and they would have two separate statutes uh, for those, a threat, assault, the actual bodily injury, battery. Texas also includes a third uh, definition, 22.01A3, intentionally or knowingly causing physical contact with another when the person knows that the um, contact would be uh, seen as offensive or provocative. And sometimes we just refer to that as assault by contact. You didn't cause injury to another person, but you did invade their personal space and it was provocative or offensive. Uh, that could be shoving someone or uh, just touching someone in a way that uh, is offensive.